So I want to talk about the relationship between face value and nine value. Basically, is this formula. Most of the time, the lecturer will just tell you that memorize this or whatever, and many people do not know what is actually behind this, the meaning behind the formula. So we see the line voltage, voltage is here. So I want to give you a more visual representation of what's actually the meaning behind all this, and so that once you're able to visualize it, you're able to freely apply to things that you are able to find and come across. Okay, we have this phasor diagram. So let's say VA, VB, and VC. They're all 120 apart, and they're equal because they're called balance, okay? Balance. You can only do this when there's balance, okay? Balance. And by having a... And this is what you call phase values. Phase values. Phase values. Okay. A line to line value is basically the combination of both things. So let's say VAB. VAB is actually VA minus VB. Okay, hang on a bit. This is actually a vector. So a minus VB actually is the same, same thing, but a different direction. Basically, it's going back upwards. So a vector of VA, a minus N and minus VA with a minus VB. So from VA, you have a minus VB, which is going this way. And that is your resultant vector. And that's why you call it VAB. This VAB, if you do some math, because you know math, you get some this equals uh, these angles are equivalent, and you get a bigger angle here. I think this is 120. You find out that VAB is actually the length of this third three times of VA. And the angle of it is 30 degrees ahead of VA. So you have another additional 30 degrees. Same with VBC. UVC is up here, you go up here. And your VCA. Okay, this is a phasing diagram and some people are able to understand better from this. But I also want to give you another representation, a more visual representation in terms of how the wave are actually moving. So we look at something like this. VA, VB, VC. This is all three together. And I'm going to join this up so that it looks more complete. Okay. As you know, the declared variable is that VAB equals to VA minus VB. So VA is this. That's VA. Minus VB. So at this point, VA is supposed to minus VB. This is your magnitude. As the time passes, VA minus VB is here. Hey, sorry, I made a mistake. Okay, VA minus VB. This is your VA minus VB. So here is actually a positive region. Where VA minus VB is positive, that means it's above the graph. You get something like this. This is all positive until this point. But at this point, VB is larger than VA. Let me use another color. No, the green is better. So this point, this is what we call VAB. It's all in negative region, and it goes into part, back into positive region again. And this is your VAB, with time, with time. And so, you're able to see that VA is negative over here, at this region. Positive at this region. Positive at this region. And there is a gap of transition. And you see that VAB is actually ahead of the v traditional VA. And this is amounts to around 30 degrees of phase. 
let's give you a better look something like this your VA your VA is this one and your VB is here so your VA minus VB in this case this part there's a magnitude of this and the longer this length is the higher you place on the graph which is here the peak of VAB this is the VAB is at this point is because there is a largest difference between VA and VB this length is the longest length and that's why it is larger and if you look at the graph let's say VA is around 179 you see that VAB is around 294 the relationship is actually set 3 and the peaks let me take another color it peaks 30 degrees apart that means it leads by 30 degrees and that's why you get the formula of let's say VAB of line to line bigger magnitude or spicer tree compared to the face and it is faster or earlier by 30 degrees that's how you arrive to this formula